Dr. Weinberg, thank you for joining us once again on MD Newsline Podcast. Uh, for those who don't know, can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Uh, I'm Frank Weinberg. I'm uh a thoracic oncologist at University of Illinois Cancer Center here in Chicago. I run the thoracic oncology program, and I also do a lot of translational research as well. Yeah, speaking of translational research, um, we've got some exciting news coming out of uh, your camp. Um, can you please walk us through just the genesis of this Sybil study and how this AI tool emerged from concept to implementation in clinical studies? Oh, gosh, yes. Uh, so it is exciting work. Um, this basically was spearheaded by my colleague, Mary Pasquinelli, um, who runs the lung cancer screening program here at the University of Illinois Cancer Center. Um, so she, you know, about two years ago, we were at the World Lung Conference in, uh, I think we were in Singapore, actually, and there was a really interesting um, presentation about Sybil, which is basically an AI tool used in lung cancer screening to kind of predict your six-year risk of developing lung cancer off of a low-dose CT scan. Um, and, you know, at that conference, Mary actually went up to Dr. Sequist, who uh, kind of had spearheaded uh, implementing Sybil into the clinic. Now, Sybil was developed by Regina Bardsley and her lab at MIT. And so together, Dr. Sequist and Dr. Bardsley worked together to kind of implement Sybil into the Mass General, Mass, Mass Gen, General Hospital uh, uh, population. Uh, and But it was apparent that, you know, that cohort and Zibble, they, they basically validated Sybil on the National Lung Cancer Screening Trial Cohort and the NLST cohort, which led to the current guidelines of lung cancer screening as we know it here in the United States. That was a very homogenous population, you know, primarily a white population. And so um, they started thinking about, could this be validated in other populations? And so this consortium, the Sybil Consortium, kind of came to be as a way to kind of um, uh, recruit other populations um, into this study to kind of validate uh, Sybil within that. And so um, Sybil was also validated in a Taiwan co cohort, which is also homogenous, but it was in an Asian population, right, which is different. And now this consortium uh, uh, has four different sites, basically. Um, it has uh, us, UIC, which we pred predominantly see African American patients, underserved, underrepresented patients. Um, it also includes another uh, large health system down in Tennessee, Baptist Memorial, which is also a very diverse patient population. It also serves um, Wellstar, which is another um, patient population uh, or a large. Uh, patient center down in uh, the Southeast, I believe. Um, and so together, these four groups kind of, our, our question is, can we validate this in larger cohort of patients? And so that's kind of how we integrated it here at, at University of Illinois, basically, to see if this civil tool works in our population. 